Welcome to another Insider Special Report. I'm Jared Johnson. I'm joined by the Mighty Joe Yeager. Mighty Joe, man, we've been uh, really at the football facility, or the SPC at least, uh, uh, for most of these videos over the past several months. But man, it's such a beautiful day. We're here on beautiful Texas Tech campus. And I tell you what, it's time for Hoka Speaks and our reaction to that. Obviously, we're it's the middle of the coaching search and we could break down this guy here, this guy there, this is what we're hearing. But honestly, the way it's been going, Mighty Joe, by the, way, by the time that we get this edited and posted and in front of your eyes, uh, a lot of things would have changed. <laughs> so I thought we'd react to uh, Kirby Hokut's, uh his, his radio show, his local radio show, what he had to say today, Wednesday, around 1230 to 1. I thought it was some really interesting things. Uh, Mighty Joe, what would you think? Well, uh, the main thing that stands out to me is, to me, he sounded pretty happy. Yeah, he did. He, he sounded confident. Uh, it sounds to me like uh, he's got uh, some, some candidates, a, a couple, you know, uh, maybe even more, uh, that he feels really good about, uh, that he believes could all probably do the job yep. uh, very well, uh, and that they are all very serious uh, about Texas Tech. Now, the number, we, we have no idea, and we don't yeah. know the exact names, no. uh, but I, he said he feels good about where they are right now. And it, it sounded like... He was sincere. It, there was a little bit of a an inflection, yeah, yeah. you know, like uh, he like the cat who swallowed the canary or something yeah. like. So I think something probably pretty good is in the pipeline. Yeah, I do too. Um, of course, Zach Tanner has already reported that uh, he believes uh, or his sources um, have told him that uh, by Monday something could happen. Now things are always changing, and I loved what Hoke had said about that because. You know, I've talked about and I've given, uh, I'd, I've tried to show y'all kind of like what it's been like for me, from my end. And I, I, it's got to be a fraction of what it's been like for Kirby Hokett. I mean, at least I hope so, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, I loved how he talked about, look, things are constantly changing, the, the fluidity of, of, of what's going on. And I thought one of the most interesting things was he actually said uh, there are people who contacted him that he, going into this, he wasn't sure or he was unaware that they were interested. Um, that is very interesting to me. What do you think about that? Yeah, yeah, so it's not simply a case of uh, subtraction. Yeah. Uh, sometimes there's some unexpected and probably very welcome addition. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it very much sounds like somebody kind of came out of the, the woodwork that wasn't on the initial uh, roster of candidates. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, it was somebody who's very viable. I mean, he wouldn't have mentioned it if some, right. like some guy coaching <laughs> six man football up in Kansas, the great state of Kansas, which I love, by the way. But, you know, you know what Dude, I'm saying? <laughs> I love Kansas. Right. If I don't, I would say I love it anyway because there might be a few Kansans out there. Kinsley Cat, one of our posters. There you go. Is from Kansas. There you go. So, uh, but uh, yeah, the, the point being, though, that. Uh, uh, somebody has come along, at least probably one person who's kind of reached out to Texas Tech, uh, said he would uh, be interested uh, in discussing the job, uh, and it's probably somebody pretty good. Speaking of confirmation, Joe, another thing aspect of what uh, Hoka had said that I found interesting, or at least is worth noting, is that he did confirm basically that it's a lone wolf deal. Now, Hoka is on the ground. He's the one flying all over, interviewing people, and then he's making recommendations to the president, and they're discussing. He said they're in constant discussion. So, I mean, it really is. It's not a committee thing. I, to me, what that's basically telling you is, look, this, and this has been widely reported and speculated on, and, of course, we've said this on the board, but it is Hoka. I mean, Hoka's the, it, the buck stops with Kirby Hoka. And um, like you said, he did sound hopeful. Yeah, yeah, he did. Uh, and, you know, this is very different from uh, the leech search, the, the, or the search to produce leech, oh, right. because that was done by a yeah. search firm, yeah. you know, so that is not going on. This is, and, you know, that uh, on the one hand, that, that, that shows that uh, Hokut has some guts, <laughs> because he can't deflect anything now. Yeah. I mean, if, if God forbid that uh, whoever he hires doesn't work out, yeah. it's all back on him. You know, uh, and so, uh, uh, but uh, on the other hand, if it works out great, then he takes all the glory. That's right. So it's a high uh, risk, high reward sort of deal for him. Uh, but uh, it is what it is, and uh, it's, it's all on a hoe cut. You know, and I tell you what, um, you and I have never shot away from, from being critical where we, where we saw, where we believed it to be fair. Um, and so I hope I could say this, and the people watching this will take it to the bank. That, that this is how we really feel, or at least how I really feel. 
Uh, I have a lot of respect for Kobe Hogan. He's done a really good job. And I really respect the fact that, look, either way, whether they brought in a firm or if he did it, it was going to be him, his neck on the line, no matter what. However this plays out, everyone's going to look to Kirby. So, hey, I respect the guy saying, look, if I'm going to go, if I'm either going to go down or if I'm, or if I'm going to uh, have success, I want it to be me on my merits, you know. So I, I respect that. I, that's, I, I believe in, in living that way as well. So uh, I actually am hopeful as well. I think Kirby's going to do a good job. I think they're going to get a guy, even if um, fans may not, be just ecstatic about it originally. I do think ultimately it's going to get to where everybody wants to be and that Texas Tech football has some really nice days, really good days ahead of them, Joe. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, I mean, uh, the splashiest hire is not necessarily the best hire. Right. All right. Uh, and a classic example of this uh, is a guy named Rich Rodriguez. Oh, yeah. uh, if you'll remember coming out of West Virginia, he yeah. was the hottest thing going. I mean, he had, he had like three 10 plus win seasons in a row. Everybody thought this was the, the, the greatest. Winds up at Michigan. Yeah. I mean, if you can't succeed at Michigan, where can you succeed? Right. Uh, and he falls on his face. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah. and it, but people, I mean, the Michigan people were thrilled when they hired Rodriguez. They thought yep. slam dunk city. Yep. Uh, so, I mean, just because you're bringing in uh, the biggest name, that's not necessarily going to be the best hire. And the flip side of that is if you bring in somebody uh, that maybe you think, oh, well, that's kind of a letdown, how boring, that's kind of underwhelming. That guy could turn out to be a dang good coach. That's right. Uh, Mike it Leach. Happens all the time. Yes, it does. Yeah. It happens all the time. Mike Leach himself was not any uh, huge name when he was signed with Texas Tech. Uh, but we've got plenty of people around here who would be more than happy to see him come back. So uh, yeah. just uh, I would say what, however it works out, uh, let's just uh, give him the benefit of the doubt and see how it goes. All right. Hey, great stuff from you as always, Mighty Joe. Thank you all for watching. And until next time.